Welcome back, friends. Hope you're all having a good day. As you can see, we have a surprise awaiting. <laughs> it is level. And I am ready to paint. I really would appreciate it if you would give me a comment or a thumbs up is always nice. Or maybe even a, uh, maybe even subscribe to my little channel. I would really appreciate that. Well, I was doing a series. I hate to say series and give it a name, but I did a, I did some swipes using the uh, Oxide Black Amsterdam um, with some Aussie Flow, Australian Flow Trim, Troll. And I already did one that was orange, yellow, and like a cross between an orange and a yellow paint on white. With this, I swiped with the black using this. So I did a purple and pink one, and it turned out really nice. Both of them did. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do one in blues and then maybe even one in greens. So I'll have four different ones and hang them together. But I thought, I think I'm going to do this. So I wanted, I wanted to do it last night. And of course, when I went to do it, my uh, mic was dead. So I didn't get to do anything. So I had this all ready. And then I had to go charge the mic. And by the time all that happened, I wanted to sit down and watch TV. So that's what I did. I always film every one of these. And I've always been able to post them. I've never had one where I filmed it and thought, oh man, this is trashy. And, you know, not post it. I post them all. So I've got a silicone mat down. I'm working on a 10 by 10 because the other two were 10 by 10. So I'm gonna keep it 10 by 10s. I'm trying to do four of them. So today I'm gonna to be using one of my faves, as you guys all know, Light Blue by Royal Langnickel and Essentials. It's the paint you can buy at Walmart. A Cerulean Blue by the same people, Royal and Langnickel Essentials. A Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. I like all these paints. And Primary CN by Amsterdam. <laughs> so all these blues. I think I want to go dark to light. I was going to also add a Prussian Blue. Prussian blue, though, is so dark, it's almost a black. So, even at the darkest blue, look how much darker the Prussian is. So, I'm like, ah, that might kind of destroy the look I'm going for because I am going to use the black um, cell activator. I also have blue cell activator I thought about using, but I'll try this first. And the white base is going to be uh, white from Artist Loft. It's a soft body. So, here and we go. <laughs> Show how flood the canvas. Usually I just put a circle. Because when you spin this, it goes everywhere anyway. But if you put some paint on the edges, on the complete ends... It actually helps it to move because sometimes it'll get to here and then start rolling over and then you lose your composition. So. It's a nice day today in Ohio. 
It is going to be, I think, 82. But it got really cool last night, so we opened the windows. Now I've noticed it's a little bit warm in here. <laughs> but downstairs is pretty cool. So we wanted to open up the house and air everything out. And on my cake uh, turner, or spinner, whatever you want to call it, I do have a shower cap on it. And I do have foil on top of that. Usually that doesn't go through the foil. You can just take off the foil. And... That way you keep your cake spinner clean. I guess in case you ever want to decorate a cake. <laughs> Which doesn't really happen here in this house. <laughs> I have a couple bubbles I'm going to pop. And then we'll get started laying the colors down. I'm just going to put it in some puddles for you. For us. Because I care about us so much. All right. Put this up. And now, I'm trying to remember how I did the other one. I think I just did glob here swipe swipe I, I don't even remember but I think I'm gonna instead of doing it I think I'm just gonna do it like horizontally like that so I'm gonna start with the primary sin I think before I made crazy eights <laughs> Seems like it's being swallowed up by the white. I mean, you can see how it's interacting with the white. All my paints are uh, three parts flow troll, one part paint, and a one part Liquitex gloss medium because I just love that stuff. And in every bottle, I always put a squirt of GAC 800. And that's by Golden, too, because I used to have a problem with uh, cracking and crazing. Especially when I try to make, like, I don't know, space pictures or whatever, and try to make them um, look real spacey and airbrush them. And then they would crack, so it's like I didn't even want to airbrush them because they were cracked. <laughs> well, I couldn't. You know, you can't sell that or even give that away. All right. And we'll do this color here. I love blues. Blues is... I like purple, too. It's probably a tie between blue and purple, but... I really like my blues. All right, now for the cerulean blue, one of my favorites, even by um, different makers. Like I love the Amsterdam cerulean blue, but I also love Royal, Royal Lang nickel cerulean blue. That's a little lighter than this one, but yeah, absolutely love it. And then our light blue. Here we go. I might even do another shot of this because there's just so much white showing. <laughs> Blues! I'm, I'm still half tempted to reach behind me and put some Prussian blue on it. <laughs> You guys wouldn't tell on me, would you? This is kind of what I do when I do those uh, smash pictures, or you call them dip pictures. I always 
do a crazy looking background and then this ought to be interesting and I hope it turns out we got plenty of blue put twice the amount of paint on there that I need. Okay, let's try it. Let's try our swiping. I use the back of this. And I think, okay, I could do you know, that side and then this side. And then just a little there. It's uh, it's actually not hard to get Australian float troll in the states. However, it is expensive. I mean, they advertise it for, I want to say like thirty-two bucks, which is eh, not too bad. But then, you know, twenty another twenty-six dollars just to get it here. And I do not really want to waste a drop. All right. I think we are ready to swipe. I guess I'll start from that side. I just. Okay, we'll do it again. I keep getting blue paint. Blue or white paint all over me. And all over these bottles. What the heck, people? I'm sorry. Only on camera. <laughs> oh, I know. I put my hand over that. Okay, and we'll do it again. Wow, look at that. that. I just love the black lacing. I, I want to try some different colors, too, using the white. I use the black a lot more because I like the, I don't know, I just like the black lacing, I guess. cells right there going going off see right there cells and we'll do one more swipe actually I'm gonna give it a good wipe with a wet towel how about that Okay, now for the last swipe. Hope you guys are doing good. It's Saturday. Saturday, I, I caught up and I thought, oh, I happened to see some people, and I'm like, oh, okay, nobody's really going to work today. I mean, there wasn't the traffic out that's usually out. 
And then I thought, oh, it's Saturday. Every day is Saturday. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. If I have to say so myself, looks like I kind of rushed it here, but look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, people. Are we ready to spin it? Are you ready to spin it? Okay. I'll get these out of the way so I don't get slopped. Am I making a mess? Am I making a big enough mess for my viewers? You always have to make a mess for it to turn out good. <laughs> All right, just give me a few hundred paper towels. I'm going to be ready to give her a little spin. spread out a little bit well actually it looks like it got most of the sides I had a ton of paint on there so <laughs> nice I'm not covered in it yet so I should give it a big rock and roll spin, huh? It's neat because it's like their cells coming off the sides. All right, and one more slow spin and then a backward spin. That's covered, that's covered, and that's covered except for this little end. So we're going to do one more spin. <laughs> the edge is still not covered. What? Why not? If you like this mess, give me a thumbs up. I know it's a hassle sometimes if you're sitting there watching TV to do it. Look, I think that is so cool when they stretch out and they get bigger. Look at that. And that even. Do I even have any bubbles? Yeah, I guess there's a couple little bubbles. Okay, we'll give her one more flick. We'll do the opposite way. Torch it. Nice. 
Some of the white came through, but look at that. I think this is so cool right there. And I think we're good on all of our corners. The sides, I believe, are completely covered. <laughs> and there's a mess. You guys can come over and help me clean this up, right? <laughs> I think it was a success story, people. I think this was a successful mess. Very messy, but very worth it. Nice. I love it. I think we'll be doing one in uh, green. Like I said, I did the purple and pink. I did the yellow and orange. And the third one I did was this blue. So, let me get these edges real good. Yeah, the ends are all covered very nice. Yes, very nice. <laughs> nice. I like it a lot. So I will bring you in for a close-up. Look at that, isn't that cool? I wanted to do this last night. I apologize for the glare of the light. If I get it at a different angle. My angle. Mm, still in there a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm really like in this corner. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Love it. And then look at the sides. I'm wondering if I should have used a black base or even a blue base. Look at that. I really like the, the bigger cells, or I should say lacy meat cells. <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, you guys. Well, thank you for watching me and spending some time at SJM Paint Studio. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like that one. And as always, have a good day and God bless you.